What's up everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Today we're going to be doing a double special. We're going to be taking on the Grass Gym and the Fire Leader for Team Star. We're going to get the uh, Grass Ass out of the way first and then uh, we'll get on our way. Yeah, here's the Grass. Here's the Grass Gym. Wonder who this guy is uh, gonna be. I'm excited. I already have a Pokemon sword out for this. I hope it's gonna be good. Oh, there's Nimoa, Nimona, our our uh, senpai. Oh, hey, so came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I knew it! I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Super potions, that's nice. Ah, I'm, ah, I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited, I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every train I run into. Let's go see what's up. Welcome to the Arizona Gym. Uh, I'm pretty sure I butchered it, I'm sorry. Yeah, my name's Soap. What's up? I'm here to take the badge. Great, in order to face gym leader Brassus, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the gym, that means completing a game of Sun Florence. Hide and seek, what? We're playing hide and seek. A city of artists, yeah, you can tell by the name Artisan. <laughs> the art made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sun Flora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the sun floor located throughout Arza Artizan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather 10 and bring them to the sun floor and you pass the test. I register the sun floor's lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large sun floor statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun! Yeah, um, hope everybody is having fun, and I hope everybody's also enjoying the game. Graphical bugs aside, this has been really fun so far. I don't know, it feels like Pokemon did uh, two steps forward, but then they took two steps back, and then they fell over. Yeah, let's get started. Hide and seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflower to spread themselves out to around town. Floral! Please bring them here. Okay. Oh god, so we gotta go looking around for them.
Well done, I find all those sunflower. You passed a gym test of flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the Arzen 10 gym to report your result. I've been capturing Pokemons, building up my team, and I think I'm ready. Are you ready to challenge? Yes, please. Please, let's go. Please. I am ready. I am ready to fight the gym leader. Take me to him. I just hope this is not going to be lagging though. My game's already crashed. Greetings, challenger! Oh, there he is. <laughs> You did well to come this far. I am Barris, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also a gym leader here at the Arzenton Gym. I was observing your gym test from on top of the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunfloor was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes! It was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. You know, maybe I should probably give him like a Hubert voice from uh from Fire Emblem. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Yes, let's go. I trust you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. You are challenged by Gym Leader Barris. Let's go. <gasps> I gotta get this Pokemon at some point. Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. I love Pedal. Oh, I, I just wish that I could find one. Actually, is it in this version or is it in Scarlet? No, I think we're good for now. Oh, I think I've actually fought this one before. Incinerate! Yes! Suruwuru! No, no, we're good. This has promise. Yes, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little slow on that one, I'm sorry. Pseudo Waddle! Let's go for a little Terra. Terra stabilizing. Stallus thingy. Bamboyism. Let's go. Yes! Fire! I'm gonna burn down this whole gym. Allow me to touch up this work slightly. I shall call it Truly Wudo. Yeah, Terra Stable. Terra Stalls. I knew it. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. It's just like Dynamaxing. Yeah, he hung on with Sturdy. Yeah, I knew he was gonna aim dirty. At times, art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace! Oh, actually, that... That theme... It sounds... It sounds just like when... In the Dynamax battle. Oh, that is cool. I'm glad that they added that. Makes it hype. Makes it hype like when you're in Brazil fighting for your life. Hell yeah. Die! Piece of shit! Avengrade!
Hmm. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in the word art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. Yes, if I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Sure, let's do it. Let's go, buddy, let's go. If you possess one gem badge, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up of up to level 25, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this a favorite of mine. Trailblaze, nice. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as I've drawn from a bottomless well. I'll begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Hey, hey, hey! Just have to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready! How'd I go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Haha! -ha! I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gym. Nice job, pass me. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness you've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's been up to. Anyway, catch you later! I hope you know I'm gonna win want a battle if we run into each other. Pokedex has been updated. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a battle, but we have we have a little battle that we have to attend to ourselves. We have to clean up one of the leaders for Team Star. We're about to take their stars. Unfortunately, while I was out. I ran into a cutscene where I got a little too close to one of the um, gyms. No, not one of the gyms. One of the leader areas, and it triggered a cutscene. And unfortunately, I won't be able to show that off when I get to when I get to the uh, gym. When I get to over here, yeah. Sadly, I was very disappointed because I was just. What the hell did I? And I think that they're uh, under like a declaration of war against us. They took it. They took me getting close to them as a declaration of war. So now I have to uh, fight them. Whoa, whoa! You can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like oh, I have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? Nope. Well, all right then. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Let's go. All right, let's go. I think that was the last of them. Yeah, we defeated him. Let's go. I defended myself, all right, but it wasn't enough. No, but your money's good enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Yeah, I declared war on them. Call me Soap. Whoa! Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista! Whee! Whee! Oh yeah, and I also came across this uh, Clive guy. He's totally not Cavill. Hey, Soap! Castlepedia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Foo foo! What? He kinda looks like Ben Stiller a little bit. Foo foo! Is that you, Charles? Foo! 
I thought so. What are you doing here? This is Charles, not Charchet. The Charcadent. <laughs> He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. <laughs> ah, Charles, wait! He ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press into the base, so... Sure, Cavill Ben Stiller. Let's go. Oh, is this castle? Oh yeah, I, I changed my phone too. <laughs> I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Station inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. The Shedler Squad. This boss, Mela, is the best all-arounder of the team. She fixes in every problem thrown her way, but her methods are heavy-handed. Her declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is take them down, take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gate once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shidler squad off the map. Sounds like Shidler's list. Are we going to a concentration camp? Oh wait. First three. Hold up. Let's just change uh, positions real quickly. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. Let's go. I mean, I think this is gonna be alright. I hope. Careful now, so Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Wait, what? Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base! Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guests, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 30 minutes, our boss might just honor you with a present. Send out your Pokemon with R to try to defeat a set number of Team Stars before they run out. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, uh, alright. Wait, so I just send them out. Alright, let's let's go guys. We're raiding their base tonight. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're just gonna beat them all up. One by one. One by one. Damn. We're kind of just raiding the whole place here. This is actually kind of refreshing. Instead of just going out and just uh, fighting a whole bunch of them, we just do like a raid over here. Wait, go. Go fight them. Fight them. Okay, let's go, let's go, we're doing good. Some more Hound Dooms. Let's go. I don't think any of our Pokemons are really having any trouble fighting them. Oh, let's go, send them out. Let's go. Damn, they all, they're all just getting defeated. 
Raid bosses, man. <laughs> Yeah, beat them all up. Kill every last one of them! That's pretty fun. <laughs> Our defenses are breached! It's all up to the boss now! Yeah, we have to fight the boss. Oh, okay, that looks pretty cool. Mella, boss of Team Firestar. Let's go. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you think why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenge us, so I'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Rumbles. Prepare to get messed up. All right. Well, we have to defeat our Pokemon. I mean, I think we have to defeat our Pokemon. Or we're gonna have to fight the car. Team Star, let's go. Oh, Dark So, uh, it's a turtle Pokemon. I forget its name. Right here, right now, you're going down. Something might turn harsh, but that's okay, cause I got an Aqua Quarter. Yeah, it's gonna lower. It's gonna be a little bit more harder. This move will torture until there ain't nothing but ash left. Flame wheel. That was for the rest of the Shire Squad. All right, well let's continue hosing them down. Flame wheel again. Not that difficult. Man, just barely hanging on there. Flame wheel. Not bad. This next aqua cutter is gonna kill him. Torco fainted. Let's go. Reverum. I ain't burnt to a Chris just yet. Oh, we have to fight the car. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay. We're fighting the car. Blazing Torque. Oh man, we have to fight the car. Oh, we got speed boost. I like the fight music though. It's pretty dope. Not gonna lie, it's pretty dope. I, I, I kind of called it we were going to be fighting the car, but that's still funny that we're fighting it anyway. Oh no, we got burned. The harsh sunlight faded. Oh man, but I got burned so that's going to lower my attack a little bit. That's okay. Still a little burnt. Don't worry, Scootaloo. You're gonna be okay. Man, he's gonna need a lot of speed boost, though. It's not gonna be good. Scoot's defense fell. No! Oh god, he got burnt. Scoot was hurt by his own burn. Uh, let's see, we're gonna have to heal up one more time at least. And probably get rid of the, uh... Actually, wait, if I was to... If I was to level up that Varum Pokemon, will I... Will I get, like, big like that? Because that would be kind of cool. Yo, imagine a water-type Pokemon getting burned. That, that's gotta be some uh, next-level funny. Let's go. 
burnt. A speed boost again. Boy. This uh, next last one should kill it. Yeah. River Room fainted. Melia of Team Stark undefeated. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boys. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pull it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of carrot carrot deck to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Star Mobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings! Or is it not so, Ortego? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snipe comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? So this is Team Star. As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She put, she just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? C come on! Not you too, Airy! How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss. What praise their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's fine time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked! The throw's burning me right up! Right up! Backstory. I burned through everything I had, and now I'm sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That quacks of yours really let us have it. <laughs> Beating me in battle is such a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah, nice, wonderful. Makes up for no um, fire gem. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. All right, not bad. Let me wait. let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxel. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Fool! A, a Cardet? Wait. Fool, fool! Well, if it ain't Charles! What are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Ooh. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, cause I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Foo foo! Charles. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, will ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, first I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You ever used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Huh? 
Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of the team, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Something's bound to happen. Yeah, something's gonna happen. Well, we raided the uh, Team Star Firebase. So, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? Yeah. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of Shiddler's squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your award, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Hey, let's go. Enough for, um, maybe 20 poke balls. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Eh? A supply unit? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, this girl. Hello. I'm Penny, from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good at machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Casopia. Lots of Pokemon material, let's go. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Casopia said you, you get more rewards every time you take out one of the Team Star bases. Also, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge in the battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bases left, so, um, good luck. Okay, well, uh, we took out Team Star base over here. Yeah, Shiddler's squad is, uh, should be gone soon, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me on this video, and uh, watching, and come back next time. Next time, we're gonna be taking on the Flying, flying Titan Pokemon. Well, I think it's gonna be a Flying Titan Pokemon. It said Titan, so yeah, I'm just going by that. Yeah, alright, well... Yeah, Quaxel and everybody else is doing great. Oh, the Terra Orbs from Charge. Nice, good job. Alright, yeah, so... I'm out. My social media links are in the description. Be sure to check them out. And as always, uh, stay fresh and have yourselves a damn good day.